Good Monday morning, guys. So I'm getting ready and getting set up to do something I've never done before, and that is the first live review, and it's gonna be Master Grade Monday on the Jim Cannon. So probably gonna bite off a lot more than I could chew, but I'm trying to get everything set up for it. I need to get thumbnails. I'm gonna go ahead and do the intro, and I need to have uh, the time lapse and everything done. Unfortunately, I've got the, uh, the vlog that I just filmed outputting right now so I've got to like cram to get all this stuff done in time make sure it's set up but yay for that so gym guy I'm gonna get a thumbnail shot real quick sorry I've got crud on the back of the screen I'm gonna get the thumbnail shot and get the intro shot so that those will be preloaded and then the review itself will be live so here we go this is gonna be fairly well difficult we were up late last night doing the nerd cast with everybody that was fun but man, now I am tired. Uh, I tried to sleep in. Didn't really accomplish that. Oh, I gotta fix the tripod. Needs to be stupid. Needs to be stupid. All right, time to get to work. All right, guys, almost time for the live stream. A couple more minutes. I'm trying to eat lunch real quick. Just get something in my belly. Now I'm trying to figure out. There seems to be an issue when I'm live streaming that it's not outputting the audio that is like for my intro video and outros and part of me is thinking it's because of the headset the way the, the way the microphone and headset is set up so I'm gonna mess with it and see about that I may have to do things a little bit differently we shall see I gotta finish getting the setup ready right quick because at the moment I think I'm going to be running late so let's just do that all right guys it's now much much later in the day I've got a bunch of stuff unboxed uh, a lot of videos done I have a lot of editing to do tonight I was gonna build a little bit but I'm just gonna sit down and edit all the things that I have done so I don't get behind so all those reviews and everything will be done for this week and then I can focus on building and doing things for next week. But <sighs> right now I'm going to go to the store and get something to drink because we don't have anything. <laughs> and I'm waiting on chicken to thaw. Mm, should be good pretty soon. By the time I get back, should be good. I'm just going to go run up to the corner store. Baby's going to be a couple minutes late. So I'm just going to go do that. Yay for life. One thing that kind of makes me a little mad, well, I guess I haven't got a response yet, but I emailed the office video and pictures of the neighbor upstairs using a, a charcoal grill on his balcony. It, using an open flame grill at all is not allowed within, like, 10 feet of the building and he's doing it up on his second story balcony that's definitely a no-no and it's the second time he's done it that we've seen and it's just, and it was going all damn day like I went to the Gundam Club meet he was already grilling in the morning before I left and the fire was still going when I got back four and a half hours later like <laughs> what the hell you can't do that man it's like, that's a massive lease violation, not to mention a safety violation. Everyone in the damn complex, you know? And so, uh, the wifey called about it last weekend when we caught him doing it and left a message with the answering service because they were already closed. It was at night. This was blatantly during the day. Like, that was, that was ridiculous. So, I'm gonna go talk to him tomorrow and be like, hey, did you not get my email? If I don't get a, if I don't get a reply. I'll be like, look, they're barbecuing. And if I recall correctly, they had a good-sized flame going last time. 
I keep on say last weekend, but I feel like it was actually the weekend before. But either way, it just, it's, if I can't do it, then nobody should be able to. And I know if I got caught doing it, they'd bust my ass. So there ain't no reason that anybody else should be getting any kind of, you know, they shouldn't be turning their head the other way. But I'm going to run into the corner store here, grab a little Cokes or something. I like doing that because it looks like I never even got out of the car. <laughs> this is like, boom, I'm still in the car. Dude, it, it really feels like it's about to start raining. Now, I didn't get up early this morning with the wife to watch the news. I stayed in bed until, well, almost until she went to work. I just wiped out. So I've got at least five things I need. No, more than that. Probably seven. Seven things I need to finish editing or edit at all. I want to try to get that final bit of the top 15 video done. I hell, I've had that recorded for so long. I just need to get the last chunk of it done. <sighs> That's where our editing team would be nice. <laughs> or any backup on editing. Oh, this is the part that sucks the most about doing this. That's why the vlogs don't get really edited much because I'm so tired of editing everything else. Yeah, where are you going, dude? Oh, I really need to check the mail. Didn't think about it. I've got an invitation to things. I've got a wedding from one friend and baby shower from another. It was my aunt's 80th birthday. I don't remember if that was last weekend or this upcoming weekend, but we can't make it. It's out of town. And then my niece's baby shower is also, it's on a Friday night, which is impossible for us to make, which I haven't seen them in so long. I mean, I'd love to make it up there. Hell, I haven't even seen their new house. That's the one that I made the table for. She's got two boys, but she's having a daughter now. So that's awesome. Oh look, they made a much larger hole. Wow. I haven't been outside all day until now, guys. I really haven't. I've been late. Well, I don't even want to say I've been lazy. I've just been inside all day. And now I'm working on dinner. I was going to do laundry, but I'll do that tomorrow while I'm in between recording. So I'm going to do a lot more, a lot more reviews tomorrow. Oh, here comes the rain. I'm gonna actually get a lot of the other quickies done that I need to do, and I've got one Gundam review that I need to go ahead and knock out. It'll be a really, really quick one, realistically. But I need to get that done along with, God, man, I just, I'm gonna give myself a lot of work. I've got to start taking a day off, <laughs> realistically. So, like, uh, I don't even know. So, tomorrow I wanna get a lot of stuff filmed and get back to work on the Patreon pick. And then just, maybe I'll take Wednesday off, just do nothing. And then Thursday I'll work on the custom and then go from there. I think is what I'll do. Cause I wanna get that top 15 video out Saturday. I put it on the schedule. As I can put it on the schedule, I need to do it. So I scheduled out all the way through the beginning of March now. So I should be able to get there, at least by the stuff I have reviewed. I need to do one Transformers review that I know of. I need to do Optimus Prime and then go from there and that'll get all of those videos. I've got to edit so much tonight. That's ridiculous, but it's okay. I don't want to watch The Good Doctor. <laughs> Which may or may not even be a new episode. So I'm gonna go in the house now. All right, so I'm making dinner. I'm doing some chicken. I think we're gonna do like chicken wraps or something like that. We bought salad. We got a bunch of stuff like that. I've got some avocado over there somewhere under, under there avocado but I'm marinating a little bit of chicken here big old chicken breast uh, in Taco Bell mild sauce because it's the only thing I've got um, I've got another one already done sitting in a little bit of oil with some more sauce that's so gonna go in the oven at 450 for a while just let it cook up 
If I had a flat or a cast iron skillet, I would totally do them cast iron and really give them that nice flame, not flame, but that nice grilled texture. But I want to make sure they're cooked up good and then I'm going to slice them after they're cooked. I've already flattened them out, uh, tenderized them a little bit with my fist because I don't have a proper tenderizer. I used to have a, uh, a small hammer that had replaceable heads on it and I would use the more solid rubber head because that wouldn't be like a hard impact. But I want to do this because uh, a lot of times I've cooked meat and it comes out a little bit too chewy, a little too dense. Um, and these are some good sized chicken breasts so I wanted to flatten them out so we can cut them down into good strips for this and if baby wants to take some for a chicken salad tomorrow she can do that so i'm doing that's why i'm doing two chicken breasts um she when i sent her to the store she bought a lot of stuff for making stuff but nothing with an exact plan <laughs> that's why she can't ever go to the store by herself no, i do love her because she, she went for me but yeah about that oh by the way guys I think I brought this up before at some point. Banana nut Cheerios. Oh my god, they're so good. The only problem is the limited edition thing. I knew they were a thing at one point and we had picked them up and I loved them for forever. I might have to stock up on a couple boxes while they're in. But baby had bought me some chocolate peanut butter Cheerios already. It's the worst possible face. So I might be throwing some of those together. Give me some chocolate peanut butter banana. Cheerios for breakfast because I'm crazy like that and Mind you I'm mildly lactose intolerant at this point in my life. So anytime I have cereal it um, It has an effect to say the least <sighs> Oh, that's the other thing I need to get this box out to Jose tomorrow with the little Nintendo fix um, I just have had no time since I got that together I was gonna go. I was actually gonna go toy hunting for Art today, but he went toy hunting because it was his day off, and he ended up getting most of the figures he wanted. So I didn't have to do anything. Got all of that. But I do have a couple figures I need to send to Art. Or kind of trading almost at this point because he's sending me some stuff. I'm sending him some stuff. Um, so yay for toys and collectibles and stuff, and not telling your wife anything you bought. So I'm gonna go back to watching Mighty Car Mods for right now. I'm having an interesting discussion about IBO designs and Gundams and stuff like that with uh, with a friend of mine. <laughs> so fun.